Hi, I'm Tom. I'm Rob. And I'm Mike Barnes. And today we're here to talk about the SLK by Selkirk brand. So to start, let's talk about why we started the SLK brand. Yeah, so at the time, the sport, um, I mean, I think this was four years ago at this point, uh, the sport was growing super fast. And um, we just felt that there was a need for technology at every level, uh, accessible at accessible price points uh, to help improve people's playing experience and, and just enjoyment of the game. So we really kind of set on a path to see what it would take to do that and really build product uh, that lived up to our brand, uh, the Selkirk brand under the SLK by Selkirk brand, um, that we could partner with uh, factories overseas to build to our standards and quality control and then QC them here in the States. Yeah. And, and really at the time, you know, there wasn't a good technology at good price points. Yeah. And so up, up to this point, we had made everything in the USA and we knew that was a core part of our brand. Um, but we, we learned a lot in that process. We built a lot of proprietary techniques and learned how to work with various materials. And we saw a huge lack in the overseas factories, both quality control and technology. But many brands were bringing those over and charging very similar prices to ours for lower quality technology uh, and uh, lower quality control. So we really saw an opportunity to partner with the overseas factories, bring them up a level in quality control, and also offer um, more accessible price points, like you mentioned, to a broader range of customers. We've been working for a while to basically revamp the entire uh, SLK line. Uh, a year and a half ago, we launched the Halo, um, and almost two years ago, the Halo line, which was an affordable raw carbon, uh, standard manufacturing process, panel manufacturing cutout um, for o only 140, which was, it's been a super popular product. Uh, we've had pros even play with it. That's what's been great is we actually have pros on tour playing with it. You know, we kind of went back to the drawing board and said, what, what could we upgrade? And we kind of went in and just threw everything that we've learned at this product and came out with the Halo Control with 18K carbon fiber, which at this point, the only other 18K mass market product is about to uh, 30 and this is only $130. So almost almost half. It, it's one one unique thing we do with SLK is we often with the revamp, we'll put more technology into it um, while also trying to sometimes lowering the price even. Yeah, we went down $10, which even, even our sales team was like, why are you doing this? Cause you're packing more tech. And we're like, our, our goal is to continue to bring value. Yeah. And, and with that, that's not only technology, but also uh, price points. Right, that's right. Okay. So everything we do is that at every price point, we try to pack as much as we possibly can into it. And it's nice too, because we have stuff trickle down to SLK that, you know, doesn't have to start in labs or the main line first. Like we do have this 18K spread toe, which is new for us. And we also have the Halo with the, the Pro with the Kevlar Aramid hybrid face sheet, which is also a first for us. So we're very excited about that to see how, um, you know, that helped differentiate the Halo line. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, another paddle we're really proud of is the new SLK Evo. We think newer players, especially players that have been in the sport for less than a year, get missed by the industry. And we, we want to make paddles again for everyone. And so we really packed as much as we could into this $100 price point. So it has uh, improved spin, thermoformed unibody design, and just really a great control of power option that's... Uh, an easy entry point for newer players. And T700 carbon. So so basically the original model was carb, just a, uh, kind of a uh, run in the middle of carbon fiber, um, wasn't thermoformed, normal panel manufacturing. And we basically went in and we thermoformed, uh, improved the spin, uh, better grit, grit tech, and then added T700 and kept it at $100. So that that's our goal long-term is just to continue on that trend with every every product packed in features and not compromising on the price points. Yes, not comp and not qu compromising in quality, most of all, well. in the playing experience. So another power we're excited today uh, to discuss is our new Atlas raw carbon fiber app. Um, everyone knows, you know, carbon fiber is very popular in the market and uh, there's not a lot of affordable options out there, a lot of accessible options to the consumer. And, and especially accessible options from brands that come with quality control, yeah, warranty, with warranty. actual customer service, a warranty, um, a brand that you don't have to worry about the paddle being disapproved. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So we kind of went to the drawing board and just said, what do we need to do to build a paddle that meets all those requirements to be able to fulfill those, uh, the, the warranty, customer service, all the things we are known as a brand and meets our quality 
our quality standards, um, but bring it down to affordable price. And we've been able to kind of scale manufacturing and really get in there and and basically the end conclusion with it was this paddle, which is a 16 millimeter raw carbon fiber in both XL and max shape. So you have choice of shapes based off of your playing style and it's only gonna be $80. And the other benefit's gonna be, the, or the other thing we're gonna do is a bundle that will be only 130. Uh, that will come with two paddles, a bag, and a couple balls, which is which is pretty crazy for 130. So you're, great, you're, yeah. you're only at like $65 a paddle, plus you get a bag and some balls, which is which is pretty cool. So we're, we're really excited about this, bringing this to the, the market and think it'll you know allow people to get access to a raw carbon fiber paddle. With SLK, these things are going through the same quality regimen we do for laps paddles, we do for Selkirk mainline. Like we are not skimping out on quality. Every one of these is checked. We don't just stick them on a shelf and ship them out blind. Another paddle we're excited about is, you know, we're known as a brand to have our uh, just cutting edge, edgeless and open throat technology. We we were basically the first brand to, to launch this open throat uh, tech. We've never implemented an SLK. The Omega Hybrid Air was the first paddle. We we took that technology and implemented it. We used a 12K carbon fiber, so we upgraded the carbon fiber. We uh, went to 16 millimeters for a bigger sweet spot, more control. Um, and we also um, improved uh, the grid quite a bit to be pretty much on par with a lot of our Selkirk models uh, and, and improved the durability. Uh, so overall, you're getting just, uh, I mean, this is probably one of the most technology packed paddles we're offering for only $120 um, with a lot of the tech we've learned and built over the last couple of years and basically, you know, cascaded it down to the, the SLK line and implemented in this Omega paddle. So overall, this Omega versus the last Omega is basically an entirely different paddle. The only thing that's the same is it's edgeless. That's pretty much it and the shapes are the same. But other than that, uh, new composites, uh, new open throat, new spin, uh, but basically everything was new carbon, everything was upgraded. So the next question is, what do, what do we see about the future of SLK? What are we focused on? Where are we going from here? Yeah, I think overall, it's just continuing to push that, that high value standard, right? Basically bringing uh, cutting edge technology at an accessible price that allows people to play the game and enjoy it at the highest level. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and the stuff we're doing on the lab side and, mm -hmm. and technology is just gonna basically start cascading yeah. uh, even more quickly over time. Yeah, I think that's a big thing for the future, at least on my end, is bringing these new technologies, these, these new innovations to SLK. And if they come, you know, if they're coming from labs or mainline, you know, bring it there faster, improve our quality, embed more, and partner better with our overseas manufacturers to ensure that we bring them up to our state side, good manufacturing, good quality practices. And, and along those lines, we're gonna keep taking what we're learning in labs and Selkirk and cascading that down to SLK. So it, it'll probably be helpful to talk about the differences between SLK, Selkirk and labs. So yeah. labs is really the forefront of new technology, new experimentation. And by experimenting, that's how we're able to innovate. And so we're gonna further increase the, the number of models coming out of the labs. And Selkirk is the main line where we have the latest tested innovations um, for the masses. And then SLK is, again, where we're bringing those technologies um, at all price points. Yeah, and, and, and I think what's exciting about that is one advantage we have is just scale. We're able to implement these technologies in mass and bring the cost down and then pass that, that savings on. I think we see that in what we did with the um, Atlas and then what we're doing with the Halo, where we just we, we basically uh, packed a ton more tech into those paddles, uh, even brought the cost down $10. And, and we're looking to basically continue to do that and, and drastically improve the product over the years. And this was, for me, frankly, one of, one of the most exciting projects I've worked on because it, it's just fun to, um, for the team to work on something where we're bringing value and just really try to bring pickleball to the masses and bring this game that everybody loves and give them tools and products that allow them just to enjoy it more fully um, and have a better experience. So, for sure. So yeah, you know, sometimes people see the lower prices of SLK and, and think they're not performance products, but we, we truly are building next level performance products.